Hello artists, I am Mr. McCaffrey, and this class is called Introduction to Studio Art. Okay guys, today we're going to do a colored pencil op art. We're going to start with a light colored pencil and by tracing our hand. Next, we're going to use a straight edge to draw some horizontal lines. This could be a ruler or just a book. And we're going to draw horizontal lines evenly spaced all throughout this picture, not including the area that we've traced in our hands. So again, just carefully, perfectly straight lines. And we want to really make sure that we do not draw any lines that go all the way through the hand. Obviously, if that does happen, you can just use your eraser and erase. If you're drawing lightly, the colored pencil should erase no problem. Once everywhere outside the hand is filled with horizontal lines, we're going to add curved lines on the inside of the hand. And this is going to give us the sense that it is popping up off of the paper. We want to start with one horizontal line, curve it up and curve it back down so it hits its corresponding horizontal line on the other side of the hand. This gets a little more tricky near the fingers, but we just do the best we can. Now it's time to color it in. We're gonna color it in with two colors and we want to try to leave a light area in the middle of the hand and a dark area next to the hand that gradually becomes light as it moves away from the hand. This is going to help with the optical illusion of our hand popping up off of the paper. Again, we want to color things in super carefully, alternating each color as we go. The highlight in the middle of the hand or finger and the shadow on the immediate ground next to the hand or finger is really what makes the 3D effect the most successful. And this here is the hardest part of this whole assignment, right where the fingers start to split away from the hand. It can be hard to make the lines line up. Just do the best you can. It's no big deal if you miss a line or have to make one bigger or smaller in order to make it fit.
So those were the first two colors. There's shadows on either side of the hand and finger, and there's a bright highlight that runs down the middle of the hand and each of the fingers. And as you can see right here, I did make a mistake, but I just widened my little yellow area so that it was a little bit bigger, got everything back on track, and it turned out to look just fine. Okay, lastly, we're going to grab one other color, and we're just going to trace all the way around the hand, and then from the edge of the hand, we're going to make it shade a little bit. So you want to pick out a color that's going to blend well with both of your original two colors. And this is going to make for this kind of ghost hand effect. Okay, good luck. Does my picture have to look like your picture? No, definitely not. I want your art to be about you and to look like you. Can my picture look like your picture? Yes, of course. I'm an art teacher. You can absolutely copy what I've done. What if my drawing isn't perfect? What if I'm terrible at art? Well, no drawing is ever perfect, so we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to worry about is improving on our past performance. Do I have to take a picture of this when I'm done? Yes. Every single time you complete an assignment in this class, you must photograph it and turn it in on Google Classroom. Every single time. Whoa! You did it! You finished! All you have to do now is take a picture of your work and turn it in on Google Classroom.